the night of the rain we had, just to let everybody know, we handled, we did seven houses on Baldwin Street. The houses we did didn't have pumps or the backflow preventers in them. But the houses that had pumps or the backflow were both were dry. If they had a pump, they kept up with it. It was very, very, very minimal and we didn't have to do nothing. We're volunteers. And Pat, you were there and you said, we are down there for free for five hours. We have no problem helping people, but when people don't take the initiative when they know they live in a floodplain to help themselves, you know, it gets tiring on us. You know, one resident, his pump acted up. We had no problem <coughs> helping him in the system. We got ahead and got the water ahead and his pump kicked in and had no problem keeping up there. But it's the other ones that it's every time, as soon as it happens, we know, we can tell you the, the addresses off by heart and know where we're going. And it's, it's, it's time that they need to step up and do their part to help us. Because you know, you're tying us up and sometimes another department to help this on. It, it's not unknown to them. No, it is not. And it's time for them to do something to help because you can't keep relying on us to handle it. I mean, we don't mind doing it, don't get me wrong, but it gets old after a while. And it, it, we're at that old point and you know, we're here to protect the town in that. So if we're tied up there and something else major comes in. It doesn't make any sense. For the couple that we always get every time. Chief, for for the idea of installing a backflow preventer to keep your basement from becoming flooded with sewage makes a lot of sense. What is it? Freeing our fire department and our volunteers to not have to come down and help you. you know, and what it's going to cost yourself. you? Would you just pay an insurance and your insurance to go up because you have flood insurance down there? Mm -hmm. What it's costing you for your increase is probably what it costs to put that backflow preventer in, and they're going to get their money back. That's a, I, I, you know, Lori, our, the manager last year, you sent out those letters. I'm not suggesting that the borough should do this for them. Mm -hmm. That's not my suggestion. But I think we, I think we ought to look at this in much the way we look at a property that's not being kept up, as to facilitate their putting it in. And we looked at that at the backflow present preventers, and this as a test case, as an exploratory item for looking at laterals. Mayor, and also some of these houses, if they want the backflow preventer, they don't even have a pump. They don't have either one. And we, we did kind of, sorry, we did, uh, as Corey indicated, I mean, the offer to work with them to accomplish that. But from what we were told, I believe by Joe as well, is that those folks, you can put, if you put a backflow preventer on, but they still have old terracotta or bad laterals, you're basically putting a cap on the end of a straw full of sit, so they're still going to get it, because they're getting it. Both then they yes. need to solve both problems. That's right. And they'll never change that kind of, you know, cooperating with them in that. They okay. Need, you know. Whatever it is, we know it's that. been a year now. This, 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 we know this is, it's coming. coming. We have a lot more of what are coming. Okay. Water. 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 You're aware of this. When did we start storm, storm? When did we start we that? Solutions. That's right. Let's worry about that. Let's get over here. That's all I got, Mr. President. Uh, thank you.